What's up, Trail fam? For today, I'm running a full tour of Songbird Ocarina, which is one of the most popular ocarina manufacturers in the entire world. of ocarina is it an instrument that follows a breath curve, meaning the higher notes require gradually higher breath pressure and the lower notes require lower breath pressure. So this is what the scale should sound like. So what is like exactly the difference? I know it's probably obviously a bunch of differences, but between like say like a four hole ocarina, a seven hole, a 12 hole, et cetera, et cetera. Like what would you say like the main difference between them and which one would you say you should start with? Yeah, so within ocarinas, there's basically two different varieties. Mm -hmm. Not exactly, but yep. most ocarinas getting classified into two different categories. Mm -hmm. There's pendant style ocarina, which uses an English system, mm -hmm. usually four to six holes. So like this one. Mm -hmm. So even the, like the plastic carry ocarina, mm -hmm. although it has more of a larger transverse style, it uses the pendant style, four mm -hmm. to six, actually that one has seven holes, mm -hmm. but it uses a cross fingering pattern, which is not completely intuitive. And even like this one as well, this is an ocarina shaped like a treble, treble clef, <laughs> this one has four holes. <laughs> So that, that system, it's because it takes less space, mm -hmm. all the notes can be accessed with just different patterns, combinations of getting all the different surface areas that will produce all the different notes. So yeah, obviously a bigger chamber is going to have a deeper sound. Mm -hmm. 